In this video, I'll show you how to edit outdoor photographs in Photoshop. So, let's get started. Go to File, Open and select the image. Open this in Photoshop. So take the crop tool from here and crop these photographs from here and here and the right side and confirm it now select the background layer and press ctrl j twice and hide the background layer as a backup and change the layer this layer name to model and this one is going to be our background Now hide the background layer for a while and select the model layer. Now take the quick selection tool from here and just make a selection of her. So our selection is done. Now apply layer marks from here. Now make visible the background layer. So now I want to remove the model from this background. So how to do that? Select the background layer and hold on control and make a click here in the model layer mask. Now our model is selected. Now go to select, modify and expand. Put the below to 30 pixel and hit on OK. Now right click of your mouse, fill in the drop down menu, select content error, hit on OK. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Now as you can see, we have our background and the model layer in the separate layer now in this background I want a blur effect now select the background layer and go to filter blur gallery and tail shift now add the blur amount how much blur you want and adjust the slider I think 100 is good enough. Once you have done, click on OK. So our blur effect is ready. So now the final step is retouching the background and the model. So first of all, we will work on the background. So select the background layer and go to filter camera raw filter so here you have the all option that you need to retouch the background so i'm gonna decrease the temperature a little bit to give a bluish color i think that's good enough and in the exposure just increase a little bit and in the shadow decrease the shadow in minus 100 and black just uh, reduce the black just a bit not too much okay and it just increase the clarity just a bit and increase the vibrance just now switch to the camera collaboration and here Change the blue primary color to the left. I want a cyan color. 
I think that's good enough in the green so don't need this now switch to this effects and in this post crop begin eating just decrease the amount this will make the edges of these photographs darken like this not too much just a bit I think minus 30 would be great now once you have done hit on ok so our background is ready now we want to retouch the so delete this layer marks for now apply layer mask so here is our model layer now we need to retouch the model select the model layer and go to filter camera or filter increase the exposure uh, there's enough and increase highlights and add a little bit contrast decrease the shadow and decrease the black a bit and just a bit of clarity and add some of vibrance increase the exposure a little more okay now switch to the tone curve and and decrease from here so I think this is good hit on ok so our basic editing is ok now I want a snow overlay now go to file and place embedded and select the slow texture snow texture sorry for that and place this out now change the blend mode normal to screen and now go to filter blur gaussian blur now adjust the amount to your liking I think 30 is enough now hit on ok now visible the background layer and hold alt and click here to see the before I hope that you would enjoy.